welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are new to my channel and you've never been here before, my name is Sandy, Sandra Ray, as told by Sandy. I go by a zillion names, but at this point it really doesn't matter because we are back with a brand new Let's Play. Let me adjust my mic here, move forward a little bit. Hold on real quick. We are back with another brand new Let's Play and I'm super hyped about this one because we are now using the new game pack, Growing Together I think is the name. I think it's like, it's the name. Growing Together I think is the name. Um, Growing Together and um, it is super uber exciting because I've never played with this game pack before. I haven't looked at anything preview wise tied to this game pack. I really wanted to be surprised and I've been hearing so many good things. I just don't know anything about packs. So we are here with my favorite family. Again, if you have not followed me before, this family is actually a continuation from our My Not So Berry series. I will tag that above here somewhere else. Um, if you remember my character Shaco, this is her branch of the family. Shaco is our main Not So Berry character. We are in another, I wanna say, universe because technically I did not wanna mess with the original gameplay save file for my Not So Berry. So I made a second save file starting at the same point where this Not So Berry player is gonna leave. So if you know Shaco, Shaco's off in college and she has a relatively big family. Um, she is the eldest sibling of four now. We have a new baby, uh, a younger brother, and a younger sister. And we're gonna introduce yourself, we're gonna introduce everybody to them today. I wanna introduce you all to the Barry family. And if you guys have, again, seen my previous series, you have probably already met all of these characters, but you do not need to watch the first one to see the second series, which is our Growing Together series, um, where we are gonna feature not Shaco, which is our not so Barry sim, but everybody in her immediate family. So with that being said, let's go ahead and introduce the family. Let me start off with the patriarch of the family, which is Lyle Berry. He just recently got promoted. He is now a officer in the military. So he's now an officer in the military and he is making a ton more money than when he was raising Shaco. Shaco was their first child, the eldest. And you know, when you're the eldest, your parents tend to make a lot of mistakes, make have a lot of issues. So growing up raising wise, they didn't really parent Shaco, but they have dreams to be amazing parents. And they have three younger ones now that they can really put that effort into. Now, mom is the matriarch and her name is Bailey. Bailey Berry, she was a um, working mom when she had only two, potentially three kids. But now that she, her husband has not been promoted and is making a ton more money and he can now be a provider like he wants to be, mom is going to be what she's always wanted to be, a stay at home mom. She's gonna take care of the babies now that they have a third battle in the fam. She's gonna sit there, she's gonna take care of the babies and um, she is hardworking, she is a musician. Um, she's awesome, like overall, real chill parent. Isn't really super strict. They're kind of like hippies if like, if one was in the military. I don't know how to describe it, but they're real chill parents. Their parenting style is very lax. They really want the best for their kids when it comes to giving them what they can. Um, and yeah, Bailey is awesome. I really love Bailey's character. I think she's so fucking adorable. Sorry for cursing. She's so freaking adorable. And I wanna see her grow into an amazing super parent, which is what her aim is. Now we have our third, our second oldest child. So again, I will show a picture of Shaco so you all know, but our, um, our second eldest is Kira Berry, and she is one of the more unique sims of mine um, because she came out with um, heterochromia and she has two separate eyes. So one of them has a different shape, although they are relatively the same color, they're slightly shaped different. There's also um, two separate sized pupils in her eyes. Um, I forgot the name of what they call that, but she also has that. So I really like her because she's really unique and I really want those genetics to pass down into future generations. So that is Kira Berry. Um, she is a preteen about to turn into a teenager and she loves to dance. She's very squeamish. She's a squeamish, dancey type of girl and she just has high energy. Um, she is an introvert, but she's also gregorious, which makes her slightly an extrovert. So she's kind of a little bit of a... <laughs> It's like she ate a twin in a womb almost. Like she's like two different people, but I love her. I think she's so fun. I think she's so cute and I think she's so adorable and I cannot wait to play her as a character. Um, next we have Onyx Berry. 
Onyx is one of the newer Sims. I have not played with Onyx yet. I played him as a toddler. He has aged up randomly on me, so I was not mentally prepared to see him in his full child form, but I just adjusted his look, and this is Onyx now, and I love him. He is the middle child of this mix of children, and honestly, I don't think he is the, the he's gonna be like the last, or the, I'm sorry, the next one is gonna be the last one. I think there are gonna be more kids in this future. I can just feel it in my bones. Um, but Onyx is the middle baby, um, and he is, I don't really even know, I don't really know much about Onyx yet as a personality, because I've never actually played him, but he is young, and I always see him on the computer, which makes me lead to believe he's a techie, um, and he is very close to his um, older sibling, Kira. I do know that, so I know that they're really close siblings, and I know they love each other a lot, so I can't wait to play him to learn more about him, and now we have our newest our newest baby to the family, and I think her name is Lexis or Lexi. Um, she is really brand new, and we are gonna play her to find out what she's like, but I'm so obsessed with her because she got genetics from mom. Oh my gosh, she's blue eyes, which you can't see yet. I'll send a picture, I'll show you a picture. But she has blue eyes, and she has red hair, and she has tan skin, and I think she's like the cutest little ginger baby. I'm just obsessed, I like, ugh, I, love, I love this family. I'm a lot of high energy for this, but like in a good way, like I cannot wait for you all to really get to know them, but they do have dreams and they and they have hopes and they really want to see their family do well. They're like the ideal like modern American family. I don't how I don't know what else to describe them as. Um, so I'm really hoping you all enjoy their backstory um, and get to see more about them. So here we are, and if you guys can see the screen. We are here with our youngest brother, um, and I'm excited to play him because I have never actually played with him. He just moved in. Um, since I've never played with him, he had no furniture from his previous house. So he pretty much had a basic bedroom, a computer, which he actually got from Shaco. And um, yeah, so he's enjoying his life. He's, he's enjoying it. He just moved into his big room, and um, I'm super excited for him. So when we play this Let's Play, I'm definitely going to make sure that I give him kind of a decoration, a room makeover. If we're gonna understand who he is as a character, I don't really know Onyx very well. I don't know what he likes, but I can definitely tell gaming is one of them because, he, oh, maybe he's, is he studying? Is this work? Oh my God, okay. <laughs> I thought he would be a gamer. He's not gaming, he's like, he's writing. I wonder what he's doing. And he's doing homework. Oh my God, what a little good angel. <gasps> I didn't expect him to be doing homework. I really thought he'd be like freaking playing video games right now. Okay, well, he's doing homework. Um, oh, is this a new feature? Ah! Okay, so new family dynamics, supportive. Some older Sims have a knack for providing reassurance and emotional support for their younger family members. The older Sims can serve as a good role model, sharing their ma um, sharing many life experiences to help guide the younger Sims through life. Recently, it seems like Lyle and Kira have this type of relationship. Oh, I love it! When Lyle and his, his spouse met, they were really young and they had Shaco very, very young, right out of his military career. So like being a parent wasn't really on the top of his mind because he was trying so hard to provide. Now that he has time, he's doing such a good job. When family members have a supportive family dynamic, both Sims will actively provide affection, compliments to each other. The older Sim will actively seek to console and cheer up the younger Sim. Oh, and the younger Sim feels comfortable venting complaints or asking for a bit more help a bit more. Would you say that Lao and Kira have a supportive family dynamic? Absolutely, and that just to me reads that Kira's definitely a daddy's girl, a big one, and that is so cute. Okay, so here is Kira and Lyle. So Lyle obviously is the patriarch of the family. Um, he obviously is the dad, well, maybe it's not an obvious thing, but he is the dad of the family and he is the provider. He is a military officer. He recently got promoted. So he's really big on like making sure that his family is financially stable. Um, he's been working really hard to get to where he is in his career path right now. And now that he's kind of gotten to that point in life, he's very proud of himself. 
This is Kira. She is the oldest as of right now because Shaco went off to college and she's a dancer. She's just one of those creative type of girls. And like, you can really see it in her dress style, in her form. She is all like really punk. She's discovering who she is. She's about to be a teenager. Um, so obviously all those teenager mood swings are coming in. And I think this is beautiful for this pack because of this whole family dynamic situation. We're really gonna get to know Kira a lot more. With that being said, Let's hop over to mom. Mom is a music creative as well. She's always been that way ever since the day that they moved into their old home. So she's really enjoying herself. And oh my gosh, she's just so beautiful. I really love their mom. Like, I don't know why I'm so obsessed, I'm so obsessed with her. Um, now, with that being said, let's look at the new, wait, where's the baby? Why did they leave her out? <laughs> oh, what the heck is that? Okay, so I know that it's a mod. So I have the um, normal UI mod, but the problem is since the game updated, like they obviously haven't updated it for the new version of the game. So she's kind of squished and elongated, but we're not gonna talk about that. She's on the floor. This is our new baby. Oh my gosh, I forgot her name already because I did not name her. So <laughs> I don't know what her name is. I think it's Alexis, Alexa, maybe. I will figure that out in a second, but this is our new angel and she has so many features from mom. I'm so obsessed. Oh, okay, so Kira seems to be enjoying this song. Should she embrace that she likes easy listening music? Sure. This is our new baby and she is going to be the center of this entire gameplay series. I am gonna leverage mainly um, the high school years pack and this new um, this new pack that has just dropped because I want to really explore both of those a lot more. And I think that now that we have like such a broad family, look oh, at mom picking the baby up. I'm obsessed. Um, now that we have such a broad and open family here, I think it's gonna be perfect. I'm hoping that, you know, we can really enjoy this mod and this new pack and I'm, I'm excited. I don't know, I'm just excited. And her name is, and I keep forgetting it, with, with Lexi, like I wanna say Alexis, her name is Lexi. Oh shoot, the welcome wagon's here. All right, well, mom, focus on baby. Dad, let's go say hi to the neighbors, wherever you are. I actually wanna give a little bit of a house tour while I'm here. Clearly have just moved in. Like there's really no furniture in this house. I have moved them into the new neighborhood, which I think is called San Sequoia. They are in this really like vibey, it feels like a home. Like this really vibey home. Hold on, let me get let me get the roof up. Let me get the roof up. So this is their home in San Sequoia. I moved them into the center of the neighborhood where the water park is because they do have a toddler. And I thought it'd be a really good idea to give them the option to really enjoy the neighborhood. So as you can see, they still have all their moving boxes. Like they just finished unpacking the living room. The kitchen still half needs to be packed. Brother's room is still like unpacked. Like this is the outside of it. And let's get into the inside. I really want you guys to see it. This is the living room area. And as you can see, there's some photos of Shaco with her high school diploma on the wall. Um, here is the living room and the mirror they brought from home. That was in Shaco's room, actually. Um, and obviously, here is the stairs to get upstairs. And to give you guys an idea of the kitchen, it is a very small house, but I don't like houses too big. I don't know why, they're just overwhelming for me. Here's the kitchen still needing to be unpacked. And then if you go upstairs, we are upstairs, up the stairs, there are multiple bedrooms. If we come through this one, I believe this is a bathroom. I could be wrong. Nope, this is the baby's room. So dad and Kira are here, kind of living their best life. Baby's room is here, crib is here. Um, there was a glitch with the cribs before. I pray to God that glitch is fixed. If not, then you know y'all gonna see the glitch. And then here we have um, brother's room. He has not yet decorated, obviously. It still needs a lot of decoration. We still need to get to know Onyx. We don't know anything about him, dude. So like, I really wanna get to know him. If he's gonna be like emo, I really want him to be like real into it. If he's gonna be like girly or, you know, just vibey gamer, whatever it is. Here's a bathroom, a very simple. I am gonna do some renovations. They just finally started getting a decent income. So I don't wanna take all their money away. This is supposed to be a door, I'm assuming. But yeah, here's the parents' bedroom. And they have an adjacent bathroom as well, just so you guys know, right here. Boom, right there. And then that is the very last thing we need to see in this house, like there isn't much going on. Now the backyard is really cute. Um, I also haven't assigned the front door, but they have a patio over here. Um, and here is the new neighbor, I'm assuming. I'm assuming they think this is the front door, that's not. 
I'm gonna adjust that in a second, but all of their stuff is here. I have not changed any of the real furniture outside of the kitchen furniture. Let me assign this as the front door. And I'm gonna have dad invite the neighbors in. So, so these are the new neighbors. I'm assuming these people come with the game pack. Yeah, these people come with the game pack. So this has to be Dolly Ronio, Runio, Reno. I'm not good with names, y'all. Don't <laughs> don't judge me when I'm reading these names out. So here's Dolly, and then the other I'm assuming is her son or her husband. He looks kind of young, or she, Jay. He, he, Jay. Jay looks kind of young. Very cute face. I'm not gonna lie. Jay is a very adorable person. Um, Jay Robles. I don't know who they are. Maybe they're not related in any way shape or form but yeah this is jay so these are the neighbors but i did add some of the other stuff from this pack we have a little bit of pond but i also added the ability to build a tree house and i think that like it would be really cool for um bro and baby sis to build that together when she gets a little bit older and obviously just a huge tree that's dying because it just turned spring but, and then another dead tree over here but the trees will come back to life dude like don't worry Oh, we got a pop-up. What does this mean? How did they already break that thing? Yo, we just got it. Okay, so Cork revealed frequent hic hiccups. Oh, okay, frequently hiccups. Lexi seems to hiccup quite frequently. Infants with frequent hiccups, Quirk, um, have more gas in their tummies and hiccups more frequently. Each infant is different from the next and has three infant quirks that can be discovered over time. To read more about Lexi's new quirk, visit the traits section in the Symology panel. Okay, oh, well, Lexi is sad, okay. Why is Lexi, she's tired, okay, fair, fair. And they left her in the bath. Yo, what is with this family leaving this little baby in places she's not supposed to be? I don't know why she's in the bathroom, but y'all gotta do better at taking care of this child because this is insane. Let's pick her up and let's put her to bed. Okay, so Lexi's personality is she's a sunny baby. These Sims are bursting with smiles and giggles and enjoy engaging with other Sims and they do require more social attention. First of all, whoa, look at this glitch. Where is she? On the floor! She's on the floor! <laughs> she's on the floor! Wait, pick her back up! Okay, there we go. There she go. Yeah, there she is. Okay. Um, she hasn't hit any other learn to reach, gross meter, lift head. So these are some milestones she needs to learn. And she was born. So this is a life experience. Okay. And she's learning to coo. Oh, but she, she had her first smile. Oh, what an angel. I'm obsessed. Okay, but why are they so adorable? Like, look at her. Oh, gosh. I'm obsessed. Oh, look at the little bear. Okay, she's going to go in. Okay, so she did go in. <gasps> Wait. Like, look how cute she is. Oh, look at her looking. At, oh, oh, my chest and muscle. She's freaking adorable. No, wait, no, put her back down. She's supposed to go to sleep. She's tired. Okay, let's put her back to bed. Put her to sleep here. I know you really want to cuddle with her. Like, I know you love her, but I need her to go to sleep. So, like, let's send the baby to sleep. Let's soothe to sleep. Okay, she just farted. That's nasty. But let's let her go to sleep first. And then we can worry about her diaper. Is she gonna go to sleep? Oh, look at the little animation. Oh, my chest. Oh, my chest. My chest. That's freaking cute. I am obsessed. All right. I can see why people were like raving about this pack because I'm obsessed with it already. So here's bro and dad living their best life, being adorable. Like, le Welcome Wagon is not really being welcomed. But mom can go down and let, like, let's, and mom doesn't have any friends, so I feel like she should really get to know the neighbors more. Let's do a funny, okay, whoa, what is all this? Let's do some friendly. Okay, wow, this is, there's so much, wow. Let's appreciate Jay for bringing the, this. There's so much going on right now. Okay, I just need to, I need to like chill for a second because I got to figure out what's happening. So dad has a gesture of personality type. Onyx can now watch some TV on a computer from social level two. And Kira, Kira just became a teenager. Wow. Okay, so much happening. So welcome Kira Bear to being a teenager. Barry, Kira Barry for being a teenager. Being a teenager isn't really that different and you probably feel exactly the same just a bit taller your voice might be a little deeper um and you're going to start experiencing a lot more drama don't worry kira you'll make it uh, yes kira you will make it you're a teen now but you'll be fine new family dynamic jokesters cute punchline onyx and kira just can't stop cracking each other up i love that 
<laughs> um, it's always a hoot when these two are in the same room. Family members with jokes or fa- uh, family dynamics will choose to perform funny or mischief interactions with each other more often, and they will feel extra playful when spending time together. Would you describe the family dynamic between Onyx and Kira as being jokes? Absolutely. I love that. I love that so much. So mom is currently making friends with um, one of the newer neighbors here. Um, and I freaking obsessed with this neighbor. I think they're so freaking adorable. I, like I can't, I can't help but like really enjoy the way they look. Like they're so cute. This lady looks cool too or whatever, but like nah, this person here, dope. And they have good skin because my skin is trash, but we're not gonna talk about that. Kira, are you repairing that? Oh my gosh. You really want that music. Like, so Kira's all about dancing and music. So like not having her music like with her is probably driving her insane. Like, I don't blame her. Oh my gosh, wait, 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 wait. Now she's upset. So Kira's going through a phase. She is very rebellious and will seek the child's parental authority. Oh, she's turning into Shaco. Um, okay, well, Kira, let's see if you could maybe try to repair this. And if you can't, no biggie. And Kira is so smart. Like, look at her trying to repair this. It's so freaking cool. Okay, everything's cool to me, though. So, Onyx is over here doing dishes like a good little boy. Ugh. But the thing is, all of my kids are always so good until they hit, like, teen years. And then it just goes south from there. Like, don't steal her toy. Ugh, you know it's fine. Uh, he's so playful. He's such a good kid. And he had a new believe in me. The most important person believes in Onyx himself. Ah! Hope you like a fruitcake. It's a family heirloom. My question is like, dude, how long have you had this fruitcake for it to be an ant family heirloom? You know what I mean? Like, how long? Mom is so cute. Like, I can't. I really love her character design. Look at him cleaning up the dishes. He's such a good boy. Well, I'm out, dag dag. Now, Kira, so far, outside of her family member, does not have any friends. Um, she does have, she is friends with Shaco, which is her sister, obviously. Super siblings, by the way. Um, friends with her sister, Shaco. Associated with her sister's friend, Gemma. Um, all of them are older, obviously, in college. And then, obviously, she's super, super close with Xanderia. And that is Shaco, which is her older sister's potential love interest and probably will soon be her brother-in-law. Her introverted personality has uh, not allowed her to really get to know people. But I really want her to mar start making friends when she's over in school right now. I'm going to have her do her homework right now. And then when I get her homework book, like, we'll get her onto that. Oh, uh, baby is hungry and she's dirty. Yo, what is with this parenting? Oh, mom is on it, bro. Yes. Oh, she's stanky, baby. She is a stanky baby. Wait, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, can we breastfeed? Can we ignore the cake? I don't know where you got that cake from. Like, where did she get this cake from, dude? Mom, come back. Come please take care of your child, dude. Somebody needs to take care of her child. Somebody take care of this baby. Okay, she breastfed her, which is fine. But she's gonna get a diaper rash if we don't like, for real, take care of her. I love the breastfeeding feature. I use, I got it initially with Wonderful and Wicked Whim, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But I don't know if The Sims originally gave breastfeeding as an option. If it never did, I'm so glad they're doing it now because like, that's cute. That's cute as hell. That's cute as hell, you know. F Bailey became good friends with Lexi. I mean, yeah, when you're sharing a titty with them, like you, I would hope y'all would be good friends, bare minimum, you know what I mean? She needs to be cleaned up, dude. Like, how do we do this? Hand Lexi to Kyle. Wow, she's like, I'm not cleaning her. You're gonna do the job. All right, well, Kyle, like somebody needs to clean this dang child. Oh, you sick, ew, don't do that. Okay, so you can clean her up in the sink, which is cute. Well, that was a quick clean. She's done, that's it? Okay. All right, that's, new. that's no different from the original animation, but she's no longer stanky. And look at her, look at her little eyes, like so excited to see her dad, she's so cute. She's like, thank you, father. Y'all just love leaving this baby in a pile of garbage. Be for real, dude, like clean up the trash in this house. What is happening? What is happening? Y'all clearly don't love this child because why would you put her in a pile of trash like that, dude? I feel like Kira needs a computer in her room. I have not yet given her that. I also wanna renovate her room. So if you guys remember the tour, Kira's room is down here, but the colors do not really mesh with what her favorite colors are. Like her favorite colors are yellow, brown, and like orange. And I wanna give her room a room that actually meshes well with what she likes. I expected her to be very girly. She is definitely not that. She is a dancer, she is vibey, and that's okay. 
Look at her. She's already gonna go to sleep. Okay, you just gonna hand her. Oh, be for real, lady. Like, you really don't wanna do any work. You just be handing this baby off. I asked you to put this baby, this little girl in her crib. God, useless. All right, and Kira just finished her homework, which is great. Oh my gosh, she's not feeling good. Those allergies are kicking her butt. She keeps eating this. I guess nobody is really, I mean, when you first move in, nobody's really gonna be sitting here cooking either. So Shaco did all the cooking in the previous home. And now that Shake was not here, nobody has anything to cook with. Ooh, best void critter. What is a void critter? All right, so I got in a fight with someone at school about which void critter is more powerful. I said it was Articorn, but he's saying it's Sudi Sudanor. Which one is it? Articorn, of course. I feel like dad is going to be like, we need to do a little bit of a conflict resolution here. Both are equally as powerful. Thanks for the advice. That might have been mom, actually. Yeah, it was mom. Mom would say the same thing, though. They're very similar in their parenting styles, so I really feel like mom would say the same thing. You made my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. Oh my god, this if this isn't like the cutest little family since like the existence of existence, I really don't know what to do. Um, I am going to send everybody to bed i think dad bro is sleeping but i'm gonna like actually make him go to sleep because like taking naps ain't it so let's go ahead and let's let's where's the option to sleep okay well i'm just gonna tell him to go nap i guess i can't like make him go to sleep that is so weird kira needs to sleep too let's let me sleep here okay no relax disco nap i don't know what a disco nap is but okay nobody is able to sleep in this house what is happening she's it's her first day of high school i'm just i'm it's mentally processing now i'm realizing tomorrow is her first day of high school like it's gonna be her first day of high school in a new neighborhood with new friends um i'm definitely going to school with her because uh, vibe <laughs> duh <laughs> um i'm excited for her i'm excited for her to really get to know her high school self um i'm sure she's really like nervous school is stupid I should be able to start working or living life. Can I never go to school again? <laughs> no, you can never not go to school again. You have to go to school. Um, school teaches important things. So Lyle has advised Kira affecting her character values, increasing responsibility, emotional decreasing. Oh my gosh, Kira and dad, like them being a duo and like being besties for Esty is so cute. Like I can't help but obsess over them like as a pair because they're like so close. Look at them, they even have matching glasses. Nerds, it's so cute. Dad actually needs the glasses though. He has silly vision, so he can't help but have glasses. He's getting old, his vision's going bad, but he is has he has so many fears. So many fears, like such a paranoid little man. Um, fear of a dead end job, fear of unfulfilled dreams, fear of being cheated on, fear of fire. Oh, okay. She hates the wake up time. Oh, oh, oh poor bitch. She's angry Look at her. She's like, it's two in the morning. Why am I awake right now? I do not blame you. Um, Lyle though has increased his parenting level. So baby is in bed and she just woke up and she is angry. She is so upset. Well, I can't feed her right now. She's had no fun. Okay, so let's get dad to pick her up really quickly. Okay, mom's already on it, bro. Look at you. 10 out of 10, mother. I didn't even have to do anything. And she fed her. Oh my God. Y'all can't tell me this isn't the cutest little interaction. Oh my God. I'm like so obsessed. I'm so obsessed. I'm sorry, I have nothing with positive things to say. Even with all the glitchiness, like I really like it. I, I really like this a lot. little teeth okay for some reason none of my sims can actually sleep oh my god i love it i love it so much see i wish we had these features when Shaco was like uh around when her younger sister kira was around because they really would have grown so close together but like they don't have that because now Shaco's so much older and she's already off the college but it's okay i'm gonna have Shaco come over tomorrow and she can spend time with seeing her little sister um, I couldn't bring him over today. So much stuff was happening. So she can come over tomorrow and she can spend time seeing her little sister and just like really enjoying time. Uh, and then here's Kira cleaning up the whole freaking house like an angel. You do your thing, Kira. I was so obsessed with Kira. Like I love her to death. Honestly, just getting them settled is such a big deal. I am going to need to like 
pause the gameplay for a bit and it's gonna feel short today i am so sorry and the only reason why is because like there's so many glitches so i'm hoping to try to figure out what's causing the sleep glitch because i really just want them to go to sleep throughout the night and then wake up in the morning so that's gonna be it i just want to say i'm hoping you guys are excited about this series as much as i am because like i'm super excited to see this family grow and like really get into their they're like selves grow themselves get into their 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 dynamics and like get to know each other a lot more because this is really going to be about the family and the growing and they may this may be a few episodes it may not be as long as some of my other series but if you guys continue to enjoy it like i'm super excited about it <gasps> cool milestone unlocked what is that so ah lexi might not be able to talk but cooing sounds are a great step in verbal communication have her socialize with other sims or stuffed animals to practice more Huh. But yeah, I am going to leave it off because in about a few hours, Kira is going to be going to her first day of high school. Dad is exhausted um, and mom is like all over the place exhausted as well. So I need to get, I have to figure out how to get them to go to sleep. So I'm going to leave it off right here. If you guys are enjoying the series, if you guys are excited about this new series, please don't hesitate to leave a like or a comment down below. Please subscribe if you do like my new series um, and please support me. I freaking love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for everything. And yeah, I love you guys. And yeah, have a great day. Bye. <laughs>